Got me feeling like mine Cause you always rush it Your mind has been filled with traffic No stop signs Stuck on bad habits Let's just chill and relax To end our day In the sunset Hello guys, it's Saturday afternoon, 2.35, about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, quite a strong breeze sometimes. We have the Caribbean Festival, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Opens, I think it's 10 o'clock, you can check online, but it finishes at 8 in the evening. 8 in the evening tonight, and 8 in the evening on Sunday, and it opened on Friday. I'm not too sure I'm going to be out. Um, late tonight. They have lots of very good music as well. I'm not going live because it's too early. Hardly anyone would come in. One or two maybe. And a few from New York and it's not even 10 o'clock in New York yet. And it's wonderful to see this. They actually cleared this guys for the first time. As you know we lost it for a year. You know I am whinge about it. And then seven months they had the overflow there even this is, they've got these all over Birmingham. Unfortunately, the fountain has packed up again. Uh, it's been off for the whole of the, for about two weeks. As you know, it's, I think it's been open three years and broken down at least 20 times. And it got really dark green for, for a few weeks and they didn't do anything about it. Um, as you know, it's owned by Protected the Council this here but the rest of the area is owned by the same people who own Brindley Place. It's got the GDI Osmo gimbal. And I've also got a, I put the muffler on guys. I'm in 4K30 because I want you to have the best picture. Uh, it's not very big, it won't take long, but I thought we would just, you know, second night and tomorrow don't forget, it's open until 8 o'clock, that's the last night. If you go down there, guys, you, come, you can't get in there. So, oh no, you go right around the front. So let's go in this way, Victoria. Look, 9th to the 11th, live bands, artists, see it all there? Standard admission free Jamaican festival. 28 schools, apparently. You have to go round, you see. I'm not sure why they've done all this. And don't go try to get out down there either guys, you can't, you're going to have to get out over there and go around the front. So they've got them to clear this. Won't be able to talk guys over the music. really crazy guys you've got to go right round the um, front and that guy well, I don't approve of the way he behaves but I can understand his frustration it's so crazy you've got all this here you have to go in the front long way around all the way down these steps 
I won't be able to talk over the microphone, guys, with the music, so excuse that. But we'll have a look at the 28 stalls for you, see the prices and the type of food, and live music until 8 o'clock this evening, and come tomorrow. It finishes tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening with the present situation in the UK. I'm sort of very worried about tonight, to be quite frank with you. Hopefully I'm wrong. That's quieting down for three days, but I, they talked about the police and the communities coming together. I thought it was wonderful. And they talked about the, the um, stiff sentences, which I approve of, but I'm very, very worried about this evening. I, I think they were just regrouping. Let's hope for everything's going to be peaceful for everyone tonight. The beautiful people of Birmingham City. And let's live in peace, peace throughout the world for everyone and equality. So as I said guys, I'll show you the stalls. <laughs> Which way can you get out here? So, to go on this way here, yeah. there's an exit on the far top. Oh, well, right, right up there, yeah. And there's one on the left. Okay, so they're, they're not letting anyone in there, though. They're not letting anyone in that way. Oh, they're letting anyone. No, a... They wouldn't let you in up there. Oh, that's an exit. That's oh, only okay. for an exit. Only here's the entrance. Okay. Have a good day, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Got to have security, obviously. Rum bar. Very sunny, guys. About 72 degrees. Oh, look, jerk chicken. Let's have a look at this. Jerk chicken. 16 pounds. Oh, my goodness. And all oh, that looks nice. It's the jerk with Miss Lynn. And 15 pounds. You can read it, guys. And 16 pounds. And wings with chips, 11 pounds. Oh, with chips, sorry, 13 pounds. That's nice. Okay, so. Oh, this is where the magic all happens here. It smells wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so they cleared this within a couple of days, guys. Just a help centre there. They've got some lovely T-shirts here. I like the umbrellas. Yeah, so a year it was completely closed, and in seven months, half of it was closed. Oh, look, this is where the magic is. 18 pounds for a curry goat. And they, uh, just got everything cleared. Polly, you remember all the border cabins up there and all for seven months? So that was a year and seven months. This is the first time in a year and seven months, guys. We've had the luxury of this. Long time in people's lives, especially after COVID. It's because, um, you know, so much going on in Birmingham. Hopefully, the side street over there, guys, is nearly finished just over there about another three or four weeks and that whole pedestrian area which I've shown you many times will be open and they do have a lot of venues here
smoke coming out of that. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. If I speak, guys, you wouldn't hear me. That's why I'm quiet. But as I was saying, yes, a year and seven months, we've now got it open. And lots of wonderful food here. And very, very smoky. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. It's all 24. Get along here, guys. Nice to meet you. 20, uh, yeah, finishes tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the evening. 28 stalls, food and various other things. Hello. Very friendly people, don't mind you filming. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to say it again, a year and seven months since we've had this. We have lots of venues here throughout the year and we've lo we lost it. But now it's completely clear. But up there from the middle, just around the corner, is about six to eight weeks' work. Um, they, I think, were told to get it all clear for this, and they might come back Monday and it'll be finished with it well within two months. And then you've got the Frankfurt German Christmas market. So. Oh, look at this. They love their chicken and rice, don't they? Don't they look wonderful there? Look at this. It's incredible. <laughs> wonderful chicken. Hello. <laughs> Store number 21. <laughs> Everywhere. It's a barbecue. It's amazing. Everyone is a barbecue. These do look lovely. Smell wonderful. Store number 20. It doesn't take long to get around, guys. Just a bar there. Lovely um, seating area here. <laughs> so, just finish up on the left. Show you some of the music. I might come out tomorrow and film some of the music. Use a tripod for half an hour. I haven't brought one today, only a mini one, but I can't really put that on the ground. Post this later, it's not, almost three o'clock. I just got here. Jamaican products, which I've not seen sweets and biscuits and things. I know there's some homemade cakes up here, but I should stay away from them. Oh, VIP tickets. They're giving away bottles of water. That's very nice of them, isn't it? Instead of charging people a lot of money. The cakes are a little bit further up. Patties, oh, that's, that's good value in lamb, three pounds. Store number nine. A few cakes there on the left. 
Wonderful colors. That's ten pounds. So she's gonna come round. You can give what you can. It's to help raise funds for uh, senior citizens to get a mini bus so that they can go out and still enjoy their time. You agree that's a good cause, right? Make some noise. That's a good cause, right? Okay. Now we are moving on with the entertainment because, as you know, Birmingham has got some. Fantastic talent out here. And we at Jamaica One One Two One, we are going to showcase some of them for you this afternoon. So please, I love the colour, it's beautiful. For the sister who goes by the name of Tina B. Make some noise for Tina. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm not actually from Birmingham, I'm from Nottingham. But I was here last year, it's not Miss Akuma. So, I'm going to do a little bit about Three songs for you. We're going down memory lane. If you know them, just join in, alright? Stall number three. Make them, don't you? I make my this cake. lady can I, This lady makes these cakes, and you hear. Oh, bread and butter pudding. Oh, bread and butter pudding. How much are they? The four pounds. Yeah. Three for ten. Three for ten. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? When I finish filming, I'll come back and buy one. Okay. You, you don't mind being on camera, do you? Oh, no, I don't. You're on. Um, if you look on YouTube. Yeah. Birmingham close up. Do you go on YouTube? Okay. Birmingham close up. Okay. You're on there. Okay. I'll post it later. Okay. I'm promoting all the local businesses. Thank you. All right. I'll come back and I might get one of those. Okay. All right. Thank you. Wonderful homemade cakes, guys. Pink gin, lemon cake. I got the sweetest tooth in the world. Carrot cake. That looks nice. But I don't know. That just looks. Is it nice and moist? That pudding bun. Yeah. Look at that. It's heavy. It's full. It's got eggs. Oh, it hasn't got any alcohol in it. Oh, yes, it has rum. <laughs> I mean, is there, any, is there a product in the world that you wouldn't put alcohol in? Wow, no coming. No? <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Yes, you wouldn't believe it, guys. It's got rum in it, the bread and butter pudding. That is so amazing. Another little walk around, guys. And that'll be it. It's just for the Caribbean Festival. 
But again, I'm going to say it and bore you, yes, year and seven months since we've had this luxury. And just there, where those people are walking, up to there, just where under the little bridge there, there's about six weeks work there, that's all. And I think they'll be back on Monday. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting those to rent. <laughs> Some of these security guys, I mean, <laughs> with their jackets, they get a jacket on and then it goes to their head. The looks I'm getting from him. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So you should come along and support this incredible festival. And yes, that's a long time to wait, 19 months, for our next venue here. They have many throughout the year. And let us hope there are more planned. And I, I, I wish they'd leave these benches here, guys. They used to have tables and, sorry, the gimbal wobbled then. And, parasols, but I think some people stole the parasols. But it is wonderful, isn't it? It'll get really crowded tonight, but don't forget it closes at 8 o'clock tonight, and tomorrow it finishes. I'm not sure the time in the morning, maybe 10, maybe midday, and it will close at 8 o'clock tonight and 8 o'clock tomorrow. That's the last day. Very, very, very friendly, wonderful, beautiful people. They are all the storeholders. I mean, one young lady got, got up there and she was a little bit shy. Baby, I've been missing 
Thank you.